Hello everyone, Matthew Simmons here again. I'm here to show you another tie knot. This is going to be called the double cylinder knot. You have a cylinder here and you have a cylinder here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this down. I'm going to show you how it's done. If you know how to do the cylinder knot, then you'll be able to do this. It's just a few added steps to it. But tying the cylinder is the same. So what we're going to do, as always in my videos, this is my left side, this is my right side. You want your big end at your belt line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, pinch this off. We're going to create the power crease for the dimple, bring over the small end over the big end, and then we're just going to wrap it around. If you have an extra long tie, this will look better. I won't lie, but you can do it with a regular size tie. It just depends on how big your cylinder will be. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, I'm going to make that snug. Then I'm going to come down like this, over and down like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this through the last loop that I made in my, in my top cylinder. Want this as snug as possible. Then we're going to come down to right about here. That's the goal. And that's a good dimple. We're going to cover it up, but it should be okay. Oh, no, there it is right there. We're going to come around like so. You want a gap, though, between the, the top cylinder and the bottom cylinder. Let's roll with that. You don't want it to be too far down because then you run out of tide, like, almost instantly. One, two, that's three. Um... Four, five, something like that. And you want it to be, you want to roll this up snug. You want them to be as close to the same size as possible. That's the goal. Although, if one of them is going to be smaller, I'd rather the bottom one be smaller, but the goal is for them to be the same size. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up through the same loop, that last loop. We're going to bring this up through here, and I'm going to try and then, there you go. So you have, and of course, you want to adjust it. You can bring this up underneath there, like so. There you go. Try and maneuver it. It looks really good with a striped tie. Kind of looks like the, the double helical knot, the Glenny double helical knot. It's got that same effect, but it's cylinders. So this one's kind of leans that way. If you can, if you can create, find a way to prevent it from doing that, great. That would be helpful because I just, it seems to want to do that, but it gives it dimension. So there's your double cylinder knot. Uh, let me know if you like it. Simmons Essentials or Matthew Simmons on social media. Find me there. Tag me. Uh, when you wear this, subscribe to the channel here. Like the video. Let me know how you like it. And if you have any tie knots, let me know and I'll wear those knots for you. And thanks for watching and stay classy, my friends.